You're watching professional rock drummer Charlie Walker as he rehearses to go on tour. His reunited band Chamberlain is hitting the road this summer with the band The Gaslight Anthem. Today on Careers Out There, we'll be exploring the life of a rock musician, what it's like, and how to get it. Stick around, it's going to be a fun episode. Hey everyone, we are here on location in Hollywood, California today, and we are sitting with professional rock drummer Charlie Walker. Charlie, Hello. thanks so much How for joining us. Thanks the for out there. Thank you. Appreciate it. So there's a lot to talk about, mm -hmm. and there are so many people, probably at least every guy, mm -hmm. would love to be a rock drummer. You know, yeah. <laughs> everybody, everybody plays drums at yes. their desk. They play air drums. We all grow up just being fascinated with drummers and wanting to be one. You get to be one. Yes. It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> tell, us, tell us some highlights of your drumming resume. Um, I think the highest for me personally would be we toured with you too. Uh, I played for a, a guy named Gavin Rossdale, who was a uh, former singer of the band Bush. Yep. And we had a band called Institute together. And in 2005, we did 13 shows opening up direct support for you too on their very be fun. Tour. It was amazing. <laughs> Amazing. All right. How does someone from a farm town in Indiana mm. end up playing with Gavin Rossdale of Bush, a band that sold over 10 million records just yeah. in America? Yeah. How does that happen? Uh, it happened through uh, just years of touring. I was 14 when I did my first record, and I had a band called Split Lip and Chamberlain back in Indiana. And then I moved to New York City in 99, and I met a guitar player named Chris Trainer. And Chris Trainer and I had a band together. And then uh, Nigel, the original guitar player of Bush, quit, and they got Chris to replace him. And then Chris called me when he said Gavin wanted to start a new band, and he asked me if I wanted to play, and of course I said yes. Nice. There you go. So, <laughs> so was a lot of that networking, would you say? I mean, was it... Yeah, uh, punk rock networking, really. Growing uh -huh. up in an underground hardcore music scene, uh, you just, by touring in a van and staying at people's houses, playing in pe people's basements, everything like that, you just get to know people, and then those people end up eventually growing up and getting, you know, jobs in the music industry and everything, and you can right. call them and say, hey, you know. So it is networking on a different underground scale, for sure. Right, right. You're not running around with business cards. No, no, no. no, no now I am. <laughs> you know, not, now I am, for sure. <laughs> More professional. Yes, yes. Point, right. <laughs> so but what's the perspective like when you're on stage mm -hmm. in front of a giant audience, like mm -hmm. a U2 audience? The drummer's kind of isolated. You're, yeah. you're in the back of the stage. Yeah. You're staring at the backs of people's heads. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like you're out front with everyone. No. Do you feel lonely? I mean, what, what's sure. that like? Uh, it, it's, it's the kind of a catch-22 because you have this protective barrier. <laughs> you know, you have 22,000, 30,000 people surrounding you, but you have this little wall in between all of that. But you don't get the interaction, of course, is the same. The guitar player, the singer, you know, they're very up front and, you know, can see the people right away. Um, my perspective is, yes, I get lonely, but also I get, you know, I'm very, I know I have the best seat in the house. You know, I, I see everything. I mm -hmm. see that, yes, I see the back of the other players, but I also can look around and see everybody behind me and around me, you know, and in small clubs, it's more obviously more interactive, which I, I, I like a lot. You know, I like the sweat and, you know, hearing all that and the <laughs> screaming and stuff, but uh, yeah, I have the best seat in the house, the best way to put it. <laughs> Are you contacting record labels to find gigs? Are they calling you? How does, how does that constantly, work? Constantly. I'm constantly calling either my friends from the old school hardcore punk scene that okay. work at labels to see if they have anybody who needs a drummer. I'm constantly calling people at record labels. You know, any, any source that I have through what I've gone through in the last 50 or 20 years now, okay. um, I, I'm constantly, constantly calling them. Uh, you know, sometimes even bothering them too much, you know, you just called me a couple of days ago, but that's really what it takes. And the people that I found that get the most gigs and the most jobs are constantly on the phone every day. What about the hardest part? If someone's watching, someone's watching right now, they could be in Indiana, they yeah. could be in Florida, they could be anywhere. Yeah. And they're interested in doing what you do. What would you tell them if you can't handle this, this is not the path for you? What is it? What's the hardest part? the instability of it you never know where your next gig's coming from you mm -hmm. never know where your next paycheck's coming from you always have to worry literally if you can put gas in your car and food on your plate right and that is the it'll go to the highest of highs and to the lowest of lows 
and it's so inconsistent. And some years it'll be straight awesome and you're rocking, and then some years you won't have anything. You know what I mean? Right, right. I would say if you can't handle instability, then don't even think about it. Okay. Don't even think about it. If you want a paycheck every Friday and know where your job is and know exactly always what's going to happen in a perfect box, don't do this. So give, give everybody an action plan. For all the people that are watching out yeah. there, uh, regardless of where they are yeah. in the country, yeah. or regardless of their age, yeah. they want to do what you do. Yes. What can they start doing today? What can they start doing right now to get on that right path? Practice. The first thing you got to do is practice and immerse yourself in your instrument. Guitar, banjo, drums, whatever it is, study, study, study. And the blessing is YouTube. Go on YouTube and watch every drummer, every video, study them, break it down, take it apart, make it your own, steal riffs, make them their own, your own thing, and just go for it. I mean, really, if you want to make it your life, it's like going, if you want to be a doctor, you start looking at medical books. Get every rock book ever made, get every biography, get every autobiography, get every piece of magazine, any piece of musical history, and study your history, man, because that is a very, very important thing, you know? The stones were the blues, but the blues were this, you know, and it just goes back and back and back till you're like at the root and you're like, oh man, okay, study, you know, immerse yourself into it and have a good time. <laughs> have a good time, man. That's you know? great advice, yeah. yep. Have a blast because it's fun. It's not meant to be taken so seriously in any aspect of life, especially music. It's a joyous occasion. It's a very beautiful thing that you should hold dear to your heart and enjoy it. Have fun, man. So you love what you do? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What would be if you had to leave everyone with some keys to success? Mm. What are some keys to success that people should be thinking about? Good question. Work hard. Believe in yourself. Have full confidence. Forget about the arrogance. And enjoy what you do. And don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. And don't let anybody tell you any different because it's your life, it's not theirs. Beautiful, well said, well said. I'm Everybody, on. careers out there, it's real advice from real professionals like Charlie Walker here. Keep watching us, we're at careersoutthere.com and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.